I walked in, I was blown away. I thought, this can't be the right place. This is so beautiful. It's a fantastic space. The windows, just the <laughs> lightness of it, um, just the mood of the building is completely, it's a lot more fun. It's a lot more, it feels a lot better. When you walk in, this place is just full of light and air. It feels innovative. It feels exciting. You can see people studying. You can see people working on computers. So it just has this very kind of modern, uh, fantastic feel to it. School of Medicine in the late 1990s recognized that medical education had to change. Phones were coming into play, laptops were in play, the internet was in play. Information was able to be garnered many, many different ways. I think that Penn was a leader in you know, using technology during our, all of our classes, but now it's much more streamlined. The recessed monitors, the fact that there's lots of spaces to write on the board. In 2012, we had a sit-down meeting that talked about, let's rethink the way medical education is being done across the whole United States. Most places were building buildings. Most places were renovating older buildings. And the question was, was there a different model? Just turned out that time-wise, there was gonna be a new building going up behind the Perlman Center for Advanced Medicine contiguous to the Smilo Building for Translational Research, integrated into all the faculty that were doing outpatient medicine in the Perlman Center for Advanced Medicine. By the spring of 2013, the design had already been done. It had been approved by the University Trustee Board and the Medical Trustee Board. And by June of 2013, construction started. 18 months later, we're now sitting in this space. Pretty amazing. I think this space just, it, it's, I think it fosters collaboration. It allows people to see and speak with people from different class years. To get into the space, you walk through the Perlman Center. So you get to walk through patient care areas. It kind of reminds us that we're actually in a hospital, that this is actually medical school. Our greatest supporters are always our alumni. These are the individuals who went to this medical school, were either trained in our hospital or went and left and then came back. We have to say a big thank you to the Jordan family, Barry Jordan and her whole family who, in honor of Henry Jordan, gave the naming rights for this medical education center. The Meese Foundation, who had been contributors to both the School of Medicine and to our research agenda, came forward to say that they wanted to support the technology for this building. Then we have a phenomenal uh, auditorium given to us by the Law family, the four brothers, the four Law brothers who went to this school and got their MD degree. Take a look at this space. Concept of having space that's both indoors and outdoors to the point you can't even tell where you are, always light during the day, allowing collaboration up and down the entire space into cl glass classrooms. The goal is to make people feel comfortable, enjoyable when they're studying as well as when they're in school.